Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. And we're coming to you to just wish you a happy Thanksgiving. I'm here with First Lady Jacqueline Stewart. And we just want to say happy Thanksgiving to each and every one of you. We love you and we pray God's blessings upon you this Thanksgiving holiday. And we just want you to know that the Bible teaches us that it's a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord our God. And so since it's a good thing, we will bless the Lord at all times and His praises shall continually be in our mouth. He's been faithful to us and we're thankful. The Bible also says that in everything to give thanks, in everything. So even during this time of the year when we consider everything that is going on, everything that has happened to us, the Bible says that we are to give thanks in everything for this is God's will in Christ Jesus concerning us. So we want to give thanks and we want to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. Yes, so oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. We are thankful this Thanksgiving holiday. And to everybody, we, we say... Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Welcome to the Word to Empower podcast, featuring Bishop Frank Stewart, pastor of the Acts Ministry in Conway and North Little Rock. And now, Pastor Stewart. Welcome back to the Acts Ministry Podcast. We're talking about the spirit of heaviness, but we're now getting ready to move into uh, the garment of praise. Now, let me read that for you. In Isaiah chapter 61, verse number 3, the Bible says, to console those who mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they may be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. Now, when you look at this, we want to focus on we focus on the spirit of heaviness and, and how to move forward from that. And here, the Lord is telling us that there are some things that are going to happen. Uh, and he, he's referring to uh, Jesus Christ. And we see that in Luke chapter 4. When Jesus comes, he reads the scripture and he says, this scripture is now fulfilled in your hearing. So we know that this is prophetic. Jesus comes in the book of in, in, in the book of Luke, Luke chapter four, and he says, This scripture has now been fulfilled. So we need to we need to talk about since this time of the year, the spirit of heaviness is prevalent. We need to talk about how we move from the spirit of heaviness or take the garment of heaviness off and put on the garment of praise. Now one thing I want to tell you is that if you're looking for Jesus to do all the work and to snatch the garment of heaviness off of us and put on the garment of praise, it's not going to work. One reason why it's not going to work, because some people, they don't want to give up the garment of heaviness. They have been wearing it so long, it fits so well that they don't want to give up the spirit of heaviness, the garment of heaviness. They love it, and, it's, and it sounds like an oxymoron, but they love being miserable. They love it. They love it because with the spirit of heaviness, it allows them to be the victim. They can be the victim. And some people have grown so accustomed to being the victim that they want to keep on the garment of he heaviness. Now, it might not even be conscious. People might not even be conscious of it because people say, well, no, 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 I want to have the garment of praise. Well, the garment of praise says to us that it's something you must do. Now, remember what we read in Psalms 42. The psalmist made a conscious decision. And the psalmist says that I will yet praise him. And that yet means in spite of everything else, in spite of what's going on around me, in spite of all the negativity, in spite of fighting against the spirit of heaviness, 
I'm going to praise him. I shall yet praise him. So we got to have a yet praise. Because if you don't have a yet praise, the day will steal your praise. Because there's going to be something happening uh, in your life. that We don't know what the day will bring. So you got to be able to praise him in spite of whatever might happen. Now, if you're thinking that you're going to have a day or days the rest of your life where everything falls in place, then, brothers and sisters, you are sadly mistaken. We live in a fallen world. That's not going to happen. But how do we take off the spirit of heaviness and put on the garment of praise? So that's what we're talking about as we approach Thanksgiving, seven days uh, to Thanksgiving. We're, seven days from now, we'll be uh, celebrating Thanksgiving. That's on the 28th. That's, that's the national holiday. We should have Thanksgiving every day being thankful to God. And I'm learning, brothers and sisters, that the power of just being grateful, the power of being grateful. And I think we have to look at the power of being grateful in order to really emphasize that we have to see what happened when people were so ungrateful. I think we have to look at the children of Israel for that. So we, we, we're, we're switching, we're moving, we're pulling off this garment of heaviness. It must be a conscious decision. It's like the psalmist says, why are you cast down? In other words, he's saying, why do you keep this garment on? Why are you still wearing that? Why are you wearing that? It doesn't matter how it fit. It doesn't matter how long you've had, had it on. Why are you still wearing the garment of heaviness? And he's saying, God wants to give us he wants to give us the garment of praise. He wants to console those that mourn. He wants to give beauty for ashes. Think about that. Stay tuned for more of Frank Stewart. And now for some special announcements. Thanks for partnering with the Acts Ministries. We value your service and your donations. That's why we've made it easy to make contributions to support our ministry. Simply go to your web browser and click the search bar and type in xministriesonline.org. Then click Donate Online. It's really that easy. For mobile giving, text the amount you wish to donate to 501-302-4242. That's Simple Give. And now, more of Pastor Frank Stewart. All of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. And since Jesus has come and he's proclaimed the acceptable year of the Lord, then all of this that we're talking about is available to us. He says, console those who mourn. Well, Jesus said, come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy laden. Beauty for ashes. We don't have to be in mourning. We don't, we don't have to be in, in sackcloth. We don't have to be all tore up. We can be serving him in the beauty of holiness and the oil of joy for mourning. Instead of mourning about everything, in, instead of wailing, and instead of acting as though we are living a perpetual funeral and constantly grieving, he said, I'll give you the oil of joy. But now we, we want to focus, we, we hear what he's saying, but we want to focus on, on this spirit of heaviness and how we get rid of the spirit of heaviness and move to the spirit, the spirit or the garment of praise. Now, I, I want to look at it. You could say it's in a negative way, but I want to I want to look at it and I want to look at what happened to those people that were not grateful, not grateful. Brothers and sisters, it, it, it is a very sinful thing not to be grateful. And, and the reason for that is God has, God has given us all kind of examples, all kind of examples of those that were not grateful. And he told us how to handle it. God has told us how to handle, you know, uh, ungratefulness. 
He's given us an example on what we should do so we will not be ungrateful. And you might say, well, uh, what, do you, what do you mean? What do you mean he has given us examples on how not to be uh, ungrateful? Well, we know what happened to the children of Israel in the Old Testament. Uh, being ungrateful, what, what God did because they were ungrateful. And for every day of murmuring and ungratefulness, God added a year. Now, this this is important. This is very important. And we're not just talking about this because we're going to Thanksgiving. Now, the, the Bible tells us that we are to use uh, the children of Israel as examples. And that's in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 6. It says this. Now, these things were our examples to be to the intent we should not lust after evil things as they also lusted. All right. He tells us what we shouldn't do. There was, he, says, he says, neither murmur ye as some of them also murmured and were destroyed. So God says, this is an example. Look at what happened to Israel when they murmured. Look at how it set them back. See, when, when, when there is an ungrateful spirit, an ungrateful spirit. Well, most people don't understand about an ungrateful spirit. When you have an ungrateful spirit, you can never see how much God is really doing. Because it doesn't matter how much he does. It, it, it always is what have you done for me lately, what you haven't done the way I really want it. It's always like that. And we see that with the children of Israel. So this spirit of murmuring, this spirit of murmuring and complaining, the Lord says to them in Numbers Numbers chapter 14, he, he says to them that he is going to, he is going to uh, give them for every day. I mean, for, yeah, for every day that they went out and explored the land and came back murmuring and complaining. He's going to turn that into a year. Now, you're talking about a setback. You're talking about doing something and... Now, now every day it was 40 days. Now we turn to 40 years. So if you just look at that, that's 365 times uh, worse. That means if you took one step forward, then he says, I'm going I'm going to send you back 365 steps. I want you to see that. So what they did with their mouths, death and life is in the power of the tongue. They spoke death on them because they were so ungrateful, just just ungrateful. And and we live in a world with a very ungrateful spirit. Ungrateful spirit. It doesn't matter what is done. It is what have you done for me lately. And even while we're asking God that, even while they was murmuring, they was murmuring with the breath and the life that God gave them. Listen to me, brothers and sisters. Not only with the life, not only with, with the breath that he was giving them, that they use it to murmur and complain. They murmured under the cloud, the pillar of fire by, by night and the pillar of cloud by day. Now, you know, when I, when I used to think about this pillar of fire, I would think about just a pretty small cloud just that they was following. But that's not what it was. It, you, you're talking about this humongous, the whole sky was on fire, this humongous cloud of fire that kept them warm at night. They was under this cloud, this miraculous cloud, and they were murmuring. Brothers and sisters, if we're not careful, the spirit of, of ungratefulness will fall on us. And when that happens, it opens the door. Watch the connection. It opens the door for the spirit of heaviness. It is one of the things that unlock this door for the spirit of heaviness to come upon our lives. So if we want to look at what ungratefulness does in, in the life of the children of God, then we need to study uh, the children of Israel. And we see how the murmuring that for every day I'm going to make it a year. So it's going to be 40 years and you're not going into the promised land. You're going to fall dead in this wilderness because you murmured. I want you to stay tuned. As we're approaching Thanksgiving, and I want us to approach Thanksgiving with a spirit of gratefulness like we have never had before. 
because it's so many things to be grateful for, but because we have, we live in a country where everything is at our fingertips. It is so easy for us to complain about uh, about about things that people around the world would be glad to have. For mobile giving, text the amount you wish to donate to 501-302-4242. The Axe Church in North Little Rock is located at 1224 Franklin Street. Morning Glory begins at 8 a.m. on Sunday mornings. Sunday School begins at 8.30 a.m. And for a powerful word, join us at 9.30 a.m. for our morning worship service. Bible study is each Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. At our Conway location, Morning Glory begins at 10 a.m. Sunday School begins at 10.30 a.m. Worship service begins at 11.30 a.m. On Thursday, our Bible class begins at 6.30 p.m. For more information, go to axeministriesonline.org or give us a call at 501-329-2055. Thank you for tuning in to the Axe Ministry Podcast. The Axe Church is located at 1423 Indian Street in Conway and 1224 Franklin Street in North Little Rock, Arkansas. Tune in each day to hear an inspiring word from Pastor Frank Stewart. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. My name is Frank Stewart. I'm the pastor of Axe Ministries in Conway and also in North Little Rock. We also have an outreach on John Barrow where we partnership with the city and other ministries there. I want to invite you to partner with us in this ministry. I want to invite you to share with us in propagating the gospel of Jesus Christ. There are many things that we're doing and we're going to continue to do. We have a vision in mind on how to be a blessing to the community, communities that we're in. So we're asking you to be a partner with us. I believe that God will reward you and he will multiply you. So join us in the Acts Ministry in sponsoring not only this broadcast, but what we're doing in the great city of Little Rock, North Little Rock, and also Conway. God bless you. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. My name is Frank Stewart. And I'm Jacqueline Stewart. We want to invite you to our program. I am the pastor of Axe Ministries, located in Conway, Arkansas, and also in North Little Rock, Arkansas. So join us every Sunday at 4 p.m. right here on VTN for our Words to Empower television broadcast. Oh, I disrespected my parents at, at home, sir. I've been more of a leader than a follower. I've been trying to help others to stay on the right track. Doing good is not really as hard as you think it is. The Arkansas Youth Challenge is enrolling for young people 16 to 18 years old. If you're having trouble in school or at home, call 1-800-814-8453. We support Second Chances.